God said, okay, quote unquote, I don't know the scripture off the top of my brain, the noggin, but I'll list it somewhere around here. God said, I died that you might have life and life more abundantly. So if you are in a horrible marriage, please tell me how is that abundance? Yeah, I'll wait. This video is, it's long overdue. Let's just say that it's long overdue. You are not going to hell because you got a divorce, okay? You're not. So this video, that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about divorce in Christianity. This video is not going to be extremely long. Okay, this is my opinion. Okay, my, 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 like Johnny Kill. You got me saying, my, 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 my. Okay, I'm getting off topic. But this is my opinion. This is my opinion. And honestly, it may be a fact because there is nowhere in the Bible there where it says if you get a divorce, you're going to burn in hell. There's nowhere in the Bible. It does not say that at all. Now, with this being said, I can't tell you what to get a divorce over. I can't tell you what to stay in a relationship for. Me and you are different people. Your deal breakers may not be my deal breakers. What you may be able to tolerate, I may not be able to tolerate. So it's based off of you and your partner. Because God However, intended marriage to last forever. He did not intend for us to get a divorce. However, sometimes things happen. Sometimes things happen. Sometimes your, your spouse completely changes on you. Sometimes they become mean. Sometimes they become evil. Sometimes they cheat. Sometimes they become irresponsible with money, finance. Well, money and finance, same thing. Um, sometimes they start to put... You know, their job before you, their career before you. Some, things happen. Things happen. And I do believe that God understands things happen. That's what he gave us grace for. Now, are we supposed to take advantage of grace? No, we are not. We are not supposed to take advantage of grace. I know and that God forgives us. I know that he understands. And this is just something that he understands that happens. So to the people that be like, oh my God, you're going to burn in hell because you got a divorce. Child, shut up. Okay, shut up. Shut up. Because no, they're not. They're not going to burn in hell because they got a divorce. And let's just make this very clear. God said, okay, quote unquote, I don't know the scripture off the top of my brain, the noggin, but I'll list it somewhere around here. God said, I died that you might have life and life more abundantly. So if you are in a horrible marriage, please tell me how is that abundance? Yeah, I'll So wait. I'm saying all of this to say, I'm trying to help some people become free and stop being so traumatized and stop feeling so much guilt over the fact that they got a divorce or if they're looking or considering getting a divorce, if they want to, they just need that encouragement to know that things will be okay and God understands. I'm here for y'all. I am here for y'all. That's the point. That's the purpose of why I'm doing this. And I'm not sharing this information with y'all to bash my ex-husband because again, he's the father of my kids. I'm sharing this information because there are a lot of men and women walking around traumatized and unhappy and miserable and unsafe in a marriage. And unfortunately, some of them thought how I thought at one point in time, which was, 
well, this person ain't cheated on me or I haven't caught them cheating yet or something along that line. And God said the only way you could divorce them is if you, if for infidelity, so I can't leave. Yeah, okay. I remember hmm. okay. Uh, me and my ex-husband, we was attending this particular church. And at that time, uh, the it was a woman that was a pastor. And um, me and my ex-husband, we had just got into a physical altercation and a verbal altercation. And I left. Um, I left and I just walked. I just, I just walked. I didn't know where I was going. I just started walking. I left the house and I just started walking. Cause I'm like, if I don't leave, either he going to kill me or I'm going to kill him. And I was praying and crying while I was walking. Somehow I ended up at Waffle House. Child, don't ask me how, but that's where I landed. Um, I ended up at Waffle House. And once I got to the Waffle House, I called my pastor and I called her all hysterical, crying and everything. And I was just like, Pastor, um, me and so-and-so just got into it. And, you know, he, he keep putting his hands on me. And he keeps calling me out my name. And I feel like he's taking advantage of the fact of him knowing that, you know, I'm trying to live a righteous life. I'm trying to do the right thing. I feel like he's just really taking advantage of it. And I don't know why he treated me like this. Yada, yada, yada. And she was just like, well, daughter, did you pray? Did I pray? Ma'am, ma'am, ma yes, 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 I prayed. I've been praying the whole way here. I've been praying since we've been together. And y'all... She was just like, daughter, you just got to keep praying. And you know, God going to deliver him. Let me tell you this. God do not need to deliver you from being with an abusive person. He does not need to deliver you in that way. Leave. Leave. I'm telling you this, right? Leave. If somebody is abusing you, they are not treating you the way that you should be treated, leave. You do not need to catch them cheating. God did not die for somebody to be going upside your head. God did not die for somebody to be calling you names. God did not die for somebody to be beating on you. And I get there is a lot of people that's going to jump in this inbox in the comments and be like, well, you're not supposed to be in a divorce because they didn't cheat. Shut up. Let your spouse keep knocking you upside the head, okay? Let them keep dogging you out. Let them keep spending your rent money on drugs. You let them deal with that. Because that ain't... Look, let me tell you something. After going through what I went through, I have a tolerance that is very low. It's low. It's, it's, it's lower than Flo Rider when he said get low in the song. You don't, you ain't got to deal with it. You don't have to deal with it. Now, are you supposed to be just finding cop-outs to get out of a marriage? No, okay? Now, let's, let's be clear. Let's be smart. If you mad that your wife don't cook and you want to divorce her, child, um, get her a cookbook. Buy some cooking classes. If she don't know how to cook, are you cooking? Are you cooking? Did you take the time to teach her to cook before you try to divorce? That ain't, to me, that ain't stuff to be getting divorced over, okay? But, like, for the, the, the simple, petty things, don't be going on her saying, you know, Brittany said, well, I can divorce you, okay? Don't be using me to get out. But, like, on a serious note, like, like, let's be for real. You know what you should leave somebody over. You know what you should not leave them over. Let me tell you this right now. You do not need permission to leave, okay? You don't need permission, baby. If you are unhappy, if you are miserable, if you cry more than you smile with this person, if you are sick, if this person making you lose weight, they making your hair fall out, 
you got a headache. You didn't develop high blood pressure. If this marriage has stressed you out that much, leave. You don't have to stay in it. Get out. Get out. And you don't need permission to leave. And if somebody has something to say, half of the people that's got something to say don't know what's going on. They never walked a mile in your shoes. And for instance, even with my pastor, because at one point in time, she's not my pastor anymore. But honestly, being honest and transparent, at one point in time, when I look back after leaving, I was like, why would she tell me that? She's a woman. Why would you just sit and be like, well, just pray. And hopefully God delivers him from his anger issues where he ain't cussing me out and going upside my head and going and roll rate, rampage and all of this other stuff. I was just like, why would she do that? And I have to remember, she's a lot older than me. She is a lot older than me. Back then, women had to deal with that because the man was the breadwinner. So they had to deal with a man cheating on them. They had to deal with a man abusing them. They dealt with that stuff because it was like, where am I going to go? He take care of me and the kids, where am I going to go? But look, you in a new day and you in a new age, baby. Get pick what what Jesus tell that man, the crippled man, pick up your bed and walk. Go, girl, leave. Sir, leave. Leave her. Leave her. You ain't gotta be with an abusive woman that's putting you down and mis leave her. Because there's plenty of good women out here that would appreciate a brother like you, okay? <laughs> I'm going to be posting, so this is going to be a diaries channel where I'm going to be talking about, like, real life issues, y'all. And I know I'm going to get a, back, a lot of backlash for it. I don't care. I'm completely comfortable with me. This is my story. This is the truth. This happened to me, and I'm sharing it with y'all because, I honestly, I want to help some people who are dealing with these issues become free and become okay, and not live in torture and torment because things did not work out. Sometimes things just don't work out for whatever the reason is. You do not have to live this way. You do not have to stay. You have the option to leave. And if you guys like these talks, do not forget to follow me on TikTok, IG, Facebook, and all of that good stuff because I'm always dropping like quick little daily tip videos on life, life lessons, being a single mom, and all of that stuff. So y'all make sure y'all follow me at Brit Rare Styles. But I will be having a new video coming for y'all really soon. And I'm going to be talking about what happened with my divorce. And how I'm holding up. The changes that you can look forward to with getting a divorce. All of those type of things. So y'all make sure y'all follow me. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel thank y'all so much for sticking around i appreciate y'all bye